So now we're going to talk through datums and setting levels out. So if you just follow us, we'll just go through the string lines first. We have now set a string line across the house there. Now, you can never rely on the brickwork because brick is don't always get it right. So we have tested the level of the string line there against the brickwork, which is 150 mil below the damp proof course. And what we've given ourselves is a slight touching bubble. Can you see that? If you just come in close. From right to left, we've got a slight touching bubble fall there. Because <clears throat> the paving should always fall two ways. So we've got from right to left, we've got a slightly touching bubble fall that way. Now we're going to discuss. So that basically is the finished floor level. As we've discussed, 150 mil below damp proof course. We then brought this string line out here, which we've squared up with a three, four, five triangle. So if we could just go through the three, four, five, Gavin. Yep. So the Pythagoras theory, and this is absolutely foolproof. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go, sorry, three foot, which we've measured with that mark there. So from the wall to there is three foot. We're then gonna go four foot from the string line here. Towards you a little bit, Gav. Yeah. Yeah, which Gavin has marked on the wall there with his mark. And now the big test is from Gav's mark there to here, we want five foot, which, as you can see, is absolutely spot on there. Perhaps a few mil out, but it's as good as you're going to get it. So that's three, four, five foot, and that gives us a square. So this string line, which is running at 90 degrees to the house here, is running at a one in 84. So we have measured 4.2 meters to here. So 4.2 meters, if we go into millimeters now, and obviously a little bit confusing, to 4,200 divided by 80 is 52, is 52 and a half mil. So from there, which is our finished floor level near the house, to here at 4.2 meters, We've got a fall of 52.5 mil to there, which will enable the water to run off successfully and not pond on the paving. Now with riven paving, occasionally you are gonna get little bits of water holding here and there because it does have rivens. We always try to run the rivens this way to guide the water down here. So that's our tip for that one. Now we've put the MOT in and a lot of times I see contractors who just basically bog the MOT and rake it about a bit, and that's it, they're not bothered. But that will cost you time and money, because if you put the MOT in, you get all the levels nice and even all the way across the board, that's less mixing, less labor, and less cost of materials. So what we've done is, we've got, if we just come in here, finished floor level, as discussed, so we now want to be 50 mil down from there, which will allow for the 30 mil bed, 20 mil of paving. So if we just measure that, Gav, yep. I'll just make sure that this is level. Sorry, let me just get level. If you just knock it down to 50 mil below me, just give it a little whack. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. Let me just get level. What are we on there? 55 there. 55, yeah, just one more strap. Another quick check. That's level. Yeah, I've got many, wait, whoa, whoa. Level. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what that tells us is we could do with a little bit more MOT in there. The level that we've set in here is at the correct level. Can you just see that? Can you just come in? So that's the date and peg we've measured off the line there with the level which is fine. And here, where we've measured off the line there as well, that 
is 50 mil below the line. So we've got quite an even fall of MOT. And we've also done it at meter intervals all the way across with the correct falls, which shows us we've got no big bumps and lumps and hollows in the MOT. So that's our level set. We're about to set paving. 